Hey there, welcome to this video. Um, today I'm gonna go over uh, the objective. What's the objective? It's right up there. Oh, let's see if I can get the right pointer here. Um, and it's simplifying monomials. So we're looking at monomials again, and here I am. I'm in my wonderful, comfortable uh, office, not really office, my classroom. Um, kicking back at my desk, ready to do some math with you. So let's take a look at this, and we're doing, uh, uh, this is part two of my two-part Where's my pen of my two part on exponents and simplify monomials so we got some rules here that we want to follow we did this last time in the uh, quotient of powers so we're going to be subtracting whenever we're dividing we're going to subtract we did a little bit of this work on um, last the last day when you, if you if you're one of my students we did this work in class the other day so uh, it should be familiar we're just going to kick it up a notch here and do a little bit of dividing now so this is going to be this right here is going to be the important one to use uh, when you're dealing with with these uh, problems that we're doing today. In the other video, I mentioned that x to the zero power was equal to one, and I mentioned that in this video, I would explain exactly why x to the zero is equal to one. So let's take a look at why. It really has to do with this other guy up here, um, this quotient of powers rule. So basically, uh, you know what? Let's pick a number like x to the third and let's divide it by itself x to the third well we know that when we take anything and divide it by itself we get one right anything divided by itself is one so we get one here well also if we're going to use this thing here where we're subtracting the powers we'll go and subtract those powers there and we're going to have x um, well what's three minus three three minus three well x three minus three is x to the zero folks x to the zero equals one there it is that's why it's true okay so next year you know or you have another teacher that says hey you why is x to the zero equal to one don't just tell me that it is because yeah we know that it is it says right there that it is why is it equal to one well you can say ha huh, i know why it's equal to one because mr mice told me why it's equal to one x to the n divided by x to the n is x to the zero and that's one okay so let's take a look at some examples shall we we shall all right, so um, all these examples I'm gonna run through pretty quick. So hopefully if you need to, pause it if you need to, and go back and rewind. So um, 24 x to the eighth, y to the negative fifth, z to the negative two, negative 10 x to the fourth, z, y negative three, z. And, and this is the, that's the only one I'm gonna say out loud. You guys can read, um, you know, hopefully, by this time hopefully you can read. Um, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract the exponents and what I'm gonna say is that the biggest one's gonna win so if the bigger power is on the top then you're gonna keep everything up on top if the bigger powers on the bottom then you're gonna keep everything on bottom now there's two ways you can look at this and I think what I'm gonna do is we're going to uh, whenever you have a negative power I'm gonna deal with those negative powers first and just you know I really don't want to deal with negative powers and adding negatives and positives so you you can I'll show you another way in class if you want it but this way um, I think is is the easiest to deal with to start so um, here's what we're gonna do anytime we see a negative power we're gonna take that negative power and bring it down to the denominator and make it positive or if it's negative in the denominator then we're gonna bring it up and make it positive then okay so let's take a look at that so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say 24 X to the eighth y to the negative fifth negative get down there okay go down to the bottom so negative 10 oh, we're going to keep x to the fourth there so the y to the negative fifth comes down to y to the fifth here and then the y to the negative third goes you see the y to the negative what's with the fives it goes up here that's positive three z to the negative two comes down here and z to the one well that's positive so i'm going to stay that z to the one all right, now I'm going to simplify. So my numbers here are going to simplify just simply as, you know, as numbers here. So I'm going to have, uh, let's see, what goes into 24 and 10? 2. 2 goes into both of those. So it's going to give me 12, right? And then x to the 8th. Now, 8 is bigger than 4, so I'm going to bring the 4 and subtract it from the 8. Okay, so I'm going to get 8 minus 4 there. 8 minus 4 is 4 y cubed the fifth here is bigger than the cubed so i'm going to bring that down and subtract okay the two went in this five times 12 times 
So I'm going to have um, y to the squared, right? Y to the squared, or y to the squared, that doesn't make sense. Y to the second power, or y squared, okay, because 5 minus 3. Now the z's are down here. Z, z, z squared, z1 is we're going to add those together like we did in the last video. We're going to get z cubed, and voila, that is our answer. Voila. It's magic. It's math magic. Okay, so let's go on to, <laughs> let's go, it's crazy. Too crazy voice. Let's go on to the next one. All right, um, so let's go and do this one. What we're going to do here is we're going to multiply these guys right here. We're going to multiply these two together first, and then we're going to divide. So let's go and multiply these guys together first, and we're going to get negative 10. X, we add the exponents, right? X squared, add the exponents, negative 7. And then 4, X to the negative 7, and Y to the third. Now, for some reason in my last video, um, actually I tried to do a video of this last time, and this negative here for some reason did not show up on my, um, on my video. I don't know why, but that's negative. So it doesn't show up. If any of these negatives don't show up, um, just trust that I'm writing it down right, I hope. Okay, so now we're going to, 2 goes into this 5 times, 2 goes into this 2 times, and we're going to simplify that. So again, let's move the negatives. If it's negative, move it to the opposite. If, if it's negative on the bottom, we're going to move it up top. If it's negative up top, we're going to move it on the bottom, okay? So we're going to have negative 5, x squared stays there, y to the 7th comes down here, x to the negative 7 goes up here, it's a positive 7, and y cubed stays down here. Okay, now that they're on the same level, we can multiply them together. Okay, so we're going to get negative 5, x to the 9, because you've got to add these two together, over 2, y, or add those together to the 9, all right? Or I can add better and say that's 10. <laughs> I can add correctly. Oh my goodness gracious. Jeez Louise. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Now on this one, I'll do uh, I'll do it with a, uh, it's a practice. So why don't you pause it here and practice. And then what I'll do is I'll show you um, a different way to do it with without having to switch those negatives. Okay. Actually, since it's a practice, I'll show you the negatives. In the next one, I'll show you a different method. Okay, so let's try this here. 2 goes into this 2 times, 2 goes into this 3 times, so I'm going to have negative 2, now the z is going to stay up here, 3, the x to the 7th is going to come up here, the x to the negative 2 is going to come down here, that's 2, y cubed stays here, and y to the negative 5th came to the bottom is y to the 5th, and z to the negative third goes up top is z cubed. All right. So I'm going to have negative 2. I got two z's over here, right? 1 and 3. So that's z to the fourth. Seven is bigger than two, so I'm going to subtract the two from the seven and keep it on the top. X to the fifth. And then these two you add together and you get y to the eighth, okay? So that's our answer. All right, let's take a look at some more. Okay, so now for this one, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, just do it all at once. I'm not gonna switch the, the negatives, I'm just gonna subtract right away. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first get this three to go, actually, you know what, scratch that. Um, I didn't say that, I did not bleh, scratch it out, okay? Um, what we're going to do is simplify the inside first. Now, you have the option. You could throw that 3 into all those things, but a lot of times it's easier to simplify the inside and then apply that 3. So let's go and do that. Um, 3 goes into 6 two times. 3 goes into 9 three times. And then what I'm going to do here is 5 is bigger than negative 2, so I'm just going to go and subtract negative 2 from 5. 5 minus the negative 2 is going to give me 8. So let's go and look at that. 2, 3, 5 minus a negative 2... Did I say 8? What am I talking about? I mean 7. Okay, 5 minus a negative 2. 7 is bigger than negative 4, so I'm going to bring up the negative 4 up here. 7 minus a negative 4. That's right, it's 11. Okay, and now 
I need to apply that cube to it. So I'm going to take an, I'm going to cube everything in there. So two cubed is eight. Why? And I, and remember when I have a, ra a power raised to a power, I got the power to the power. It's going to be multiplied, right? So we're going to have y to the 33rd, 33rd over 27 x to the 21st. Okay. And 27 is three to the third power. Okay. Let's move on. Moving on up. Okay, uh, so we're going to multiply these guys together. So we're going to have negative 6 x to the third, y to the fifth, because we added the exponents here, over 10 x to the negative fifth, y to the eighth. And we're going to just simplify. So 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 goes into 10 5 times. So negative 3. Now the 3 is bigger than the negative 5. So we're going to take the negative 5 and subtract it from the 3. So we're going to bring this guy up here. 5 minus a negative 3 is 8. We've got a 5 there. And 8, 5 is going to, this one's going to subtract here. So why 8 minus 5 is 3. You see, that that might be a little easier than having to deal with those negatives first, right? Because, um, you know, it's just quicker. Less work. We all know less work is nicer, right? Well, you know, you should work hard. But, you know, if you can do it smarter, do it smarter, right? Um, uh, let's simplify the inside here. So uh, 2 goes into that 7 times. 2 goes into that 3 times. And we're going to have negative 7. Uh, let's, let's just try to do this all at once here so we can get this done quicker. Um, 8. Ah! Uh, we we'll go 4 minus 8. We've got to go down because 8 is bigger than 4. So we're going to have x to the 4th on the bottom. Don't forget our 3. Negative 2 is smaller than 3, so I'm going to subtract it there. And 3 minus the negative 2 is 5. And then the negative 5 is smaller, so I'm going to bring it up here. Negative 1 minus a negative 5 is z to the 4. Okay, and then we still got to square those things. Yep. Okay, so negative 7 squared, negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. Okay, positive 49. Z to the 8th, right? We multiply because it's to the power. Oh, my gosh, that was awful. Pretend I never never did that. Um, X to the 8th, Y to the 10th. Okay. Bada bing, bada bang. We're done. All right. I got some more here, guys. Um, you know, it's just... The more practice we get, the better it gets, okay? But I'm, I'm going to be done soon. Um, I think, actually, I'm going to make this the last one I do, okay? So in this one, we're going to take and bring this stuff in here first. And then we're going to simplify once, once it's division, okay? So 6 to the negative 2. We'll just go ahead and leave it as that. X to the 10. Y to the negative 28. And 2 to the 3rd x to the negative 9, y to the negative 15. Man, I got tons of negatives all over the place here. Okay, um, 6 is 36, and 36 times um, 2 cubed is 108. Okay, I know this is 6 squared. It's going to go down here. And then when we multiply it by 8, we're going to get 108. So it's kind of a big number, but hey. Um, negative 9 is going to subtract there. We're going to have x to the 10th minus negative 1, which is 19. And then this negative 20 is going to come down here. Negative 15 minus a negative 28 is going to be y to the, I believe, 13. And then we are done. Okay. All right. So that's it, fellas uh, or and ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Um, anybody that's coming on this podcast, podcast is in the podcast. This is a video, a YouTube video. Maybe I'll make a podcast. That sounds like a good idea. Anyway, um, hopefully you got something out of this. It is multiplying, dividing monomials um, using uh, exponent powers, exponent properties. Okay. So thank you for coming. Bam. We're done. Boom.